voters heading out for a fun 4th of July weekend. I am taking my kids and grandchildren um, to the fireworks uh, display up here at uh, Lock 4. It's going to be fun. It's always fun and the fireworks go off at nighttime. It's, it's always fun. State officers on the water too. We hop on the boat with TWRA to cruise Old Hickory Lake. We'll do our job, do it well, and, and make sure everybody has a good time and goes home at the end of the day. They're looking out for intoxicated boaters. They're also checking other safety measures like the number of life vests on board. All in all, just to keep people safe, not trying to keep anybody from having fun, but, but overall just want everybody to go home at the end of the day. Officers say a .08 or higher blood alcohol content means it's illegal to drive a car or a boat. Obviously, it's a busy holiday weekend. Uh, this weekend coincides with Operation Dry Water, which is a heightened awareness that, that we put out to encourage folks to uh, be mindful of alcohol consumption. This past Memorial Day, there were 13 boating while intoxicated arrests in Tennessee. I would anticipate arrests being made, unfortunately, um, because it being you know hot outside, it being a beautiful 4th of July, at least some of our days, that. Um, Officers will no doubt in encounter some of that. It's going to be a long and hot weekend. Voters we talk to say they're prepared. We've got air conditioning downstairs. We got fans blowing out here for the heat, and we've got plenty of life jackets on board. And uh, we're just going to stay between the buoys and watch traffic. New boaters is you know it's it's a big safety concern. People who are drinking too much, uh, not hydrating properly, um, and not knowing the laws of the lake. In Lebanon, Sarah Smith, News 2.